Hey guys, it's your Tom from FTC4717, and today we're going to be talking about the HD pulley generator feature scripts and feature scripts as a whole. So you might be wondering what feature scripts are in the first place, and feature script is basically a programming language that Onship has created. And every single tool that you see in this toolbar was made with feature script. So the sketch tool was made in feature script, the extrude tool, the revolve extrude tool. Every single tool you see was made with feature script. And a, a feature script can be very useful because you can manipulate your own part studios as well with it. And it's very useful for uh, repeating tasks, such as like this, if I wanted to um, make these standoff holes, I can make a feature script to make it a certain distance apart from each other. Um, but because that linear pattern tool was there, we should use that. Um, but that was also made in feature script. So to make your own feature script, you just click on the plus and then you would click create feature studio. We're not going to be making our own feature script today, but um, this is what it looks like and it imports all the geometry um, and everything from on shape automatically. But this is what you would do, what you would have to do if you wanted to make a feature script. So the FTC community themselves have made a feature script for an HD pulley generator. Um, and as you can see, there are certain configurations you can set which changes the pulley. So if you wanted to change the teeth to like 60 teeth, it'll automatically generate a pulley with 60 teeth with an HD profile of five millimeters. Um, there are different configurations here too, and we're gonna be playing around with these today. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a 24 tooth pulley, um, like we said we would do earlier. And Obviously this bore um, is not the correct size on the motor. And I believe the motor has a six millimeter D shaft. So what we're gonna need to do is make a six millimeter hole um, right here. And so we have a six millimeter hole. And then what we can do from here is make a copy. Um, and then we can name this 24 teeth. And then okay. What it does is it makes a copy of the workspace and we couldn't have changed anything um, there um, um, in the uh, generator we have to make a copy for us to change all these sketches so um, once we made a copy again we just have to make this 24 teeth and then um, make it a six millimeter board so we have that here. And then because it's a D shaft, what we need to do is look on the motor and see the length of this um, line here. So it's 0 0.131. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new sketch on this um, plane. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line going from here to here of 0 0.131 inches. So So as you can see, we are uh, dimensioning this one through one inches. And the reason this will work is because it's a circle. So it'll find the two points on the circle, which will allow it to be this distance here. So my workspace is in, three, uh, is in millimeters. So that's why it says three there, but it's actually 0 0.131 inches. And what we have to do next is we can either, um, there are different ways to add this little part here. Um, the first way I'm going to show you guys is the project tool where you project the entire circle and then you can use the trim tool to trim off this excess right here. So that makes that little part. Um, another thing you could do is you could take the three point arc and then click on the two points to make it attached to there. And then leave it like that, and then we can get the coincident tool and make it coincident to the circle. Oops, wrong tool. Okay. So it'll automatically find the uh, 
length needed to align with the circle right there. So as you can see, um, we have the excess part filled out um, right here for the part that we don't want because it's a D shaft and we want to press it on. So what we can do is click down on the sketch and then extrude and then add to the pulley. And then we can do up to face because we want it to go up to a certain point and then go up here. So as you can see right there, it has that extra part and when you click done, it'll make a D shaft. So we're going to be able to press this on to the motor. Um, I'm not going to get rid of these holes because the, we can be using that as pocketing <laughs> kind of so it's lighter. Um, and then if you want, you can make that bigger. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video guys. I know this was a short video, but it was just delving into um, feature scripts. And we hope you guys come back for the next video.